When the world came to Vancouver and Richmond for the Olympic Winter Games in February of 2010, Speed Skating Canada was ready to showcase the sport to visitors, fans, experts, and to the local communities. Housed in the modern and spacious City Hall of the City of Richmond, the Great Canadian Speed Skate Exhibit attracted more than 54,000 people over a 16-day period. Visitors could explore antique and modern skates, learn about the history of Canadian speed skating at the Olympics, enjoy the grace, beauty and power of speed skating as captured in newly created works of art, see the development of racing suits over the last 20 years, try on a racing suit and see some of the Olympic medals Canadian speed skaters have won in the past. Entering the main room, visitors were greeted by a stunning display of antique skates against a backdrop of large colourful paintings. Speed Skating Canada is very grateful to Mr. Jean-Marie Laduc of Ottawa, who made his collection of vintage ice skates available for presentation at this event. Mr. Laduc has devoted more than 25 years to his passion of skate collecting and has developed a richly documented historical collection of 341 pairs of hockey, figure, speed and short track skates. At the Great Canadian Skate Exhibit, about 90 of his skates were shown. Some of the highlights were a bone skate from England, more than 1,000 years old. Early wooden skates with a metal blade from the Netherlands and England. A long reach skate from Nova Scotia. A meter long wooden clap skate known as the river skate, made in 1870. And the prototype skate specifically designed for short track by the late Raymond Leberge. A special display case showed different types of clap skates that have been produced since their introduction in 1996. Another display case that attracted much attention showed skates that belonged to speed skating celebrities. Many visitors enjoyed the art that was on display on the walls. It was a result of the judged process whereby artists from across the country could submit work. A total of 30 works from 16 artists were submitted. The four artists whose work was selected for display were Catherine Dickinson and David McComb of Vancouver, Larry Tillier from Burnaby, and Joyce Kamakura from Richmond, B.C. Mike Hughes made a very informative video showing the creative process that underlies the making of these paintings. People could view it on site to get a better appreciation of the art on display. The long and distinguished history of Canadian Olympic speed skating was explained and illustrated with historical photographs, statistics, anecdotes and little known facts. Speed skating racing suits have changed dramatically over the last 25 years. Speed Skating Canada has been at the forefront of these developments, both for long track and short track. Every year since 1993, a new design was created for national team suits. To see all these suits together on a wall made for a very colourful display. The centre of the room was occupied by the Olympic suits from Albertville 1992, Lillehammer 1994, Nagano 1998, Salt Lake City 2002, Torino 2006 and Vancouver 2010. Very popular, especially among the kids, were the skin suits that they could try on to get the feeling of what it is like to be a speed skater. Upon leaving the exhibit, visitors could marvel at some of the Olympic medals Canadian speed skaters won at the Olympic Games in Albertville, Salt Lake City and Torino. It left them with a sense of awe about the great accomplishments of our Canadian skaters. The reaction of the public was overwhelmingly positive and it gave them a sense of the sport, its people, its history and its place in the community. The contributions of the law firm Heenan Blakey as a very generous sponsor of the Great Canadian Speed Skate Exhibit was very much appreciated. Oh.